K-drama, K-pop, and K-cuisine. It's all a part of a big gathering at Magic Park. We're taking a live look at the Korean festival happening right now. KITV Force Paul Drew has discovered something new at the annual event. <laughs> Change was in the air at this year's festival, which featured more than just the traditional sounds of Korea. We have a number of K pop performances today, a lot of younger people, uh, locals, not necessarily ethnic Koreans, but they're very Korean at heart and they just love to show their talent. Music is always part of the annual event, which always attracts quite a crowd, usually numbering in the tens of thousands. What does it take to put on an event this big? Not only hundreds of volunteers, but also a year's worth of planning. It starts the day after the last one ends. Uh, we take into account some of the feedback we get from participants, vendors, sponsors, volunteers, um, and then we start planning for next year. Many families came out to see Korean culture through dance, art, and entertainment. Just to be exposed to, you know, as, as many different um, things culturally. I mean, we go to the Okinawa Festival, obviously, and, you know, I think this is another, uh, it, it's a little different. You know, they get to see some, um, some things that are, you know, necessarily, uh, you know, normal or routine for them. Others came to celebrate Hawaii's connection to Korea. Koreans are a, a very um, unique part of Hawaii in the social fabric, just like all the other ethnic groups. That, that's what makes Hawaii so special. In addition to sharing or learning about the culture, many came for the cuisine. Dozens of vendors filled Magic Island and their creations filled the air with the flavors of Korea. For us, it's the food. It's the food and being by the beach. We get to do a lot of things together out here and, and it's fun. Festival goers can sample tastes of Korea, catch cooking demonstrations, or even take part in a kimchi eating competition. Even the governor was part of the crowd at this annual gathering. And it's more than just fun and games at this celebration of culture. It also raises some serious money for service projects and scholarships for Korean students who want to make their community a better place. At Magic Island, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. If it looks like fun, you better hurry down there as the festival only lasts until 8 o'clock tonight. You 